You know what makes me special? I have the coolest moon in the inner solar system. It controls my tides, lights up my nights, and my Earthlings just love staring at it. They even wrote songs about it. I mean, I'm basically Earth's twin in size and mass. We're neighbors. But somehow I don't have a single moon. Earth never lets me forget it. It's like being the only planet without a plus one what? to the cosmic dance. Yeah, tell me about it. I don't have any moons either. At least you're big, Venus. I'm the smallest planet again, and everyone just assumes I'm too pathetic to have one. Even Pluto used to have more moons than me, and he's not even a planet anymore. My moon is so reliable. It's been with me for over four billion years. Best cosmic companion ever. Hey there, Earth. Let's talk about why you two don't have moons. Mercury, buddy, you're in a tough spot that has nothing to do with being pathetic. You see, Mercury, you're so close to the sun and so small that your hill sphere is absolutely tiny. What's a hill sphere? The hill sphere is the region where your gravity is the strongest force. Any moon inside that zone will orbit you instead of the sun. And your hill sphere is only about 175,000 kilometers. Simply put, Mercury, darling, any moon that tried to orbit you would be like a paper boat in a hurricane. The sun's gravity would just snatch it away faster than you can say orbital mechanics. Huh. You never stood a chance, sweetie. Okay, but what about me? I'm almost as big as Earth. I'm 80% of Earth's mass. My hill sphere should be fine. So why am I moonless too? <gasps> oh, Venus, my dear, you're asking the wrong question. Scientists have run simulations, and they suggest something fascinating. The question isn't why you don't have a moon. It's what happened to the moon you probably once had. Wait, what? I had a moon? I had a moon and lost it? That's not just embarrassing, that's tragic! Based on planetary formation models, scientists think that about 4 billion years ago, you got smacked by something huge. The debris from that collision likely formed a moon, just like Earth's. It started orbiting and slowly drifting away, like a normal moon should. But then, research suggests something catastrophic happened. <laughs> Roughly 10 million years later, a second massive impact may have struck from the opposite direction. This collision could have slowed your spin, reversed it entirely, and sealed your moon's fate. When a planet rotates backwards relative to its moon's orbit, tidal forces work in reverse. Instead of pushing the moon away like Earth does, Venus, you started absorbing your moon's orbital energy. You basically pulled it into a cosmic bear hug of doom. If this theory is correct, once your moon crossed the Roche limit, your gravity would have torn it to pieces. The debris would have rained down onto your surface over millions of years. Your moon didn't escape, darling. It came home in the most dramatic way possible. So I didn't just fail to get a moon. According to this theory, I had one, and my backwards rotation destroyed it. That's so much worse than never having one. It's like ghosting your best friend by accidentally crushing them. Hey, at least we're moonless together, right? I never had a chance because of the sun. You might have lost yours to bad physics. We're like the moonless support group of the inner solar system. Should we start a club? Mercury's hill sphere is merely 175,000 kilometers. Venus's extends to about 1 million kilometers. And Earth's reaches 1.5 million kilometers. Distance from the sun is everything, darlings. You both orbit in the sun's intense gravitational neighborhood. Mercury never had the mass or distance. Venus probably had a chance, but lost it to catastrophically bad timing. It's not a failure, it's just physics being dramatic as usual. I'm really sorry for bragging, you two. I didn't know about all this cosmic tragedy. I just got lucky with my distance from the sun and that my moon stuck around after forming. I should have been way more sensitive. I feel like such a jerk now. Well, if I, if I did lose my moon four billion years ago, I'm still here, still the hottest planet, still fabulous. Besides, my thick atmosphere and retrograde rotation make me unforgettable in other ways. Who needs a moon when you've got this personality? Yeah! And I may be small, but I'm the fastest orbiter and closest to the sun. I survive temperatures that would melt lead. Who needs a moon when you're basically a speed demon living in an oven? I'm hardcore. Every planet's story is different, friends. 
I have 95 moons because I'm massive and far from the sun. You three have your own special circumstances. That's what makes the solar system interesting. If we were all the same, space would be boring. So basically, Mercury and Venus have no moons because the sun's gravity dominates the inner solar system. That makes stable moon orbits nearly impossible. Scientific models suggest Venus likely had a moon but may have lost it to reverse tidal forces after a second impact changed its rotation. Well, I feel better knowing the science behind it. At least if my moon did ditch me, there was a whole cosmic catastrophe involved. Two giant impacts and backwards physics? That's not just tragic, that's Oscar-worthy drama. Yeah. Space explorers, hit that a like button. Subscribe for cosmic fun and don't miss our next journey. Keep looking up.